Turning now to Israel's war with Hamas. The fighting is ramping up yet again after a truce comes to an end in the region. Just minutes after the ceasefire stopped, airstrikes quickly followed. Israel is once again urging civilians to evacuate the area. NBC's Ralph Sanchez has more from Tel Aviv. The ceasefire came to a brutal end this morning, seven days and a couple of minutes after it began. Both Hamas and Israel blaming each other for the failure to extend this truce further. But Israel says Hamas fired the first shots, firing rockets into southern Israel at about 6 a.m. local time, an hour before the ceasefire was due to end. Israeli airstrikes beginning shortly after that. And the Gaza Health Ministry, which is controlled by Hamas, says at least 32 people have been killed inside of Gaza since those airstrikes began. We're also seeing fighting resuming on the ground. Now, Qatar, which has acted as the mediator between Israel and Hamas and brokered that initial ceasefire, says it is hoping to get this truce back on track. It says it is talking to both sides. We heard from Secretary of State Antony Blinken last night here in Tel Aviv saying that the United States would like to see this ceasefire extended to allow more time to get Israeli hostages out of Gaza and also more time for humanitarian aid to get in. The Qataris are saying any talks complicated by the fact that the bombing is continuing. And for now, we are not expecting to see any more hostages coming out until there is a new deal. Last night, eight Israeli hostages coming out, including two Palestinian citizens of Israel. These are members of the Bedouin community. They are Muslims, and they were themselves kidnapped by Hamas during the October 7th terrorist attack. Raf Sanchez, NBC News, Tel Aviv.